So hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you a video. It's uh, this red card LSI Mega Red 9661-8i. So this is my card I plugged into my server and uh, my server is running VMware ESXi6. So what I'm going to do actually I did it already. I'm going to show you the steps I did to enable or config the SSD cache cape via store CLI command line. So to configure, yeah, originally I thought it would be very difficult to me because I'm not so comfortable with the command line, but after I have done this, I think it's not so hard to do. So basically, the requirement for sure you need like storcli installed on your ESXi, right? So you can check the online menu. So if you have that one installed and so we can start using the command line to config the files. Uh, okay, so basically what I did on those, once that one installed, you will see this one here. So if you use your putty to log into your ESXi server, so yeah. Then you will logged in, so you browse into this installation folder. So basically, you like you use cd opt lsi. So here, you were in this folder. And uh, after you are in this folder, you can run a couple command to enable that one. So first of all, you can run this command to show all, to show all. You need to use C0. Usually we have one card. Should so basically when you show all, it will show all the information of your card. Okay. So I have copied over to here when I when after I run the show all, so basically you can see this information output by this command. So let's scroll to the key information here. So here's my uh, top logic of this read card. You can see I have this is the group disk group zero. And this is disk group one. So basically, I have two disk groups. One is on the uh, read ten. Another one is on read one. So basically, I or this read one is the SSD drive, but originally it was configured as a regular read. It's not for the catch purpose so basically i need to repurpose this ssd as a catch kate drives so and then you can see the virtual disk i have zero and one virtual disk read 10 and read one but both virtual disks they are regular if you look at here, CAC, this means 
if here the type is CAC, it will be the KHK. Okay, so here's the command that keep running so we can show the V1. V1. So make sure this is the correct group. We are going to repurpose. So after I confirm this one, then I run the command to delete this V1. Okay, remember, don't go to the wrong one. V1, virtual disk 1. Is this the one? These are, they are the SSD drives. I want to repurpose them. Okay, I did delete. And after I delete them, we can see here physical drives. So here's the physical, two physical drives. And if we scroll down, physical drive list. So those two are the physical drives, see? They are SSD, but originally they configured as the regular RAID. Okay, and this is the ID for them. 252, 254, 252, column 5. Okay, so this command basically on the control 0 at a virtual disk, but this virtual disk is catch kid and the type is read 1. The drive's ID is 252, column 4 to 25. Basically, it's from 4 to 5. So this one successfully add a catch kid read drives for you. And after that, you can show you can show this one okay right so if we show this v1 again and if you look at the type remember previous the type the type previously is called read one but now it's called catch kid one now catch kid okay so And the next command I need to run is enable the SSD caching on the other virtual disks. So because I originally have two virtual disks, one is V0, one is V1. Now V1 is acting as a SSD caching kit. So now I can set V0 to use the SSD caching set on. Okay, after that, it's successfully caged. If we look at, so look at the original one. See, cache kit is none. Now we run it again. So here is cache kit RW. So we have successfully enabled. SSD catch kit on our volum zero virtual disk zero. Okay. Thanks for watching.